Hello friends, Yossi here. How are you? Today we're going to talk about townhomes. Townhomes are an amazing investment. I think maybe one of the best or the best you can make in 2019. Uh, townhomes provide amazing opportunity for you to invest and to live in or to rent it out long term. Um, let's look at the numbers and let's look at what townhomes are. Okay, so this is Yossi Kaplan. I'm a realtor with Search Realty Corporation. Love what I do. Here's my Twitter, at Yossi Kaplan. Lots of information about new building, videos, things that I like. Um, a lot of assignments and exclusives come right here. My YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Yossi Kaplan. If you're not subscribed, please do. Helps a lot. Lots of videos. I try to put a couple a week. Okay. Here's my website, urbanrealtytoronto.com. There's a few websites. <clears throat> this is the one we're going to focus on today. That's kind of my main website. Been running it for about 10 years. Lots and lots of information. I'll show you in a second. And um, <clears throat> the first thing I want to do is jump into the townhomes, okay? So what are townhomes? Let's look at the first one we're going to look at, and these are townhomes in Brantford, Ontario. You know I love Brantford for many, many reasons. Uh, Brantford is a fantastic little town. The prices are still really cheap. You can get stuff here for $400 a foot and $500 a foot. Um, 20 minutes from Hamilton and about an hour and a bit out of Toronto, okay? Um, the townhomes at 33 Jarvis, these are new townhomes, you can watch the video right here, there's a bit of a video I took uh, um, when it was still it was nice out, not like today, uh, here we go, uh, amazing project, there's only 30 of them, the project is sold out, we have five, five available towns uh, with assignment clauses, uh, and they start at 495 these are large townhomes at 1,300 square feet and up, 1,310, 20, uh, in up to 1600 some you can see here they're pouring the foundations you can see a lot of information here the nice thing about these townhomes that first of all there was nothing in there before they're brand new second it's in a nice residential area and, and quite affluent in my opinion the Branford Collegiate is giant giant high school is just across the street every day there's about 2,000 people walking into the school okay and they need a place to live on the problem when you're gonna buy a home it's going to be, number one, expensive. Number two, it's going to need a lot of work. Number three, a day like today, it's like minus 20 outside. Thank God it's nice indoors. Uh, but the pipes just freeze. It, I've, I've had a home before, uh, west side of Toronto, and every winter, the problem with the pipes freezing. So here's the school, and here's the property literally across the street. So I've got five assignments here. You can grab one of these starting price at four ninety five. That's a phenomenal investment, in my opinion. That's the sales center before they close it. These are the unit allocations where they come in three blocks. All the information you need here, this is a new site I put up called BranfordBrokers.com. And the first townhome I want to show you is 33 Jarvis. Okay, so go here, BranfordBrokers.com, and then click on 33 Jarvis, you'll see it. Okay, the second, <clears throat> I'll just show you the first page. I'm going to go right away into the product, okay? And then we're going to talk a bit about townhomes, how they differ from homes, how they differ from condos, why I think they're good. But I'm going to give you... First, we're going to go to the product, okay? Here's the main site, BrantfordBrokers.com. I just put this together over the holidays. Um, so I, I got the pages coming in. We got the product. You can also do a real live search uh, through my system. Just click here to open it in full window, and that will search. That will default to Brantford itself. You can see the average price in Brantford right now in the system is seven eleven nine thirty, based on 69 listings, okay? So it ain't cheap. But it's really nice, and it's safe, and it's beautiful, okay? So there you go. The next town home, so the way, so this is a unique one, uh, an investment that I sent you. Now, if you're on a mailing list, you got this, so you have a heads up. And what happened last week, I sent something to my list, and it was picked up, one of the assignments, so quickly that I didn't bother sending to the rest of the lists because they're broken into a couple of lists. I didn't even post it um, because I didn't need to. Okay, so if it's exclusive and it's unique, I'm going to send it to my list first because I always promise my list to get the best product. Okay, so just how it works. If you want to be on the list, go on uh, any of these form and indicate you want to be on the list or simply just go to urbanrealtytoronto.com and then go either the contact or the newsletter page. You would go here and there's a link on, on every page, I believe. And... Just sign up here, put me on the list, you're good to go. 
Okay, you hear, you hear, you hear, you will hear first. Now, when you are on UrbanRealtyToronto.com, I put a couple of tricks on this website. It's it's dialed in pretty good. Um, I'm enjoying putting work on this and improving it as, as much as I can to make it uh, better for everyone, faster, better information, larger pictures, everything sharper. And here, listings, this is the bottom of the foot, and just scroll down to the end of each page. It'll say Toronto Condos uh, for sale. And if you scroll down, special searches, Toronto Townhomes. Okay? So just click on this. And this is a pre made search I already programmed into the system. And it's going to open yossi.searchrealty.co, which is our site within Search Realty. That's a live site. 24 7 listings are updated. You can go to latest listings here, sort by latest listings. Um, and then you can see what's on the market. This one, they haven't even put uh, the picture, so they'll come soon. And this one here, I really like. This is in a junction, very, very close to the GO station. <clears throat> and here you can get yourself a very nice home for $800,000. Two bed, three bath. Uh, follow me here. You can obviously go to the link by yourselves, but look at this unit. It is very nice. It's a, it's a, it's a, a split-level unit. I think it's pretty cool. And the price is good. It's large, it indicating here about 1,100 square feet for 800. Pretty good, okay. Um, it's got a little patio, it's a two-story, uh, it's new, it's got everything. Okay, taxes are reasonable, condo fees are very, very low in townhomes because there's almost nothing to, to take care of, okay. So that's very good. Also means when the condo fees are low and the taxes are low, it helps the price go up because a person can pay more towards the mortgage and not waste it right on things that i don't get back much you know if i put in the maintenance fees it just goes through with everyone if i put in the tax it goes with the entire city but when i pay my mortgage it comes towards my own bag of wealth which i want to enrich all the time okay and location is really good just click on the little marker it gives you the map and we're gonna um just zoom in a little bit and basically, just a couple minutes, just down the road from the Blue Go train, as it's indicated here. So, and 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 from Metro or Subway. And I've had a couple of people specifically telling me they love the junction, especially if it's close to the Go train, because someone can live there, doesn't have to live downtown. You know, it's just too messy, too loud, too much. Can live in the junction, get you know ten or fifteen percent discount on the price compared to downtown, and be at the airport anytime they want pretty good or you know be anywhere in Ontario on the go anytime you want so that's why I like this one and that's why this one is top of my list okay so we just went to Toronto Town Homes here and then we all we did is we put the search based on latest listings if you want to see what's the most expensive townhome uh, on the system right now it's this one in Yorkville for 6.8 million dollars <laughs> just for fun let's just jump in see what's going on and by the way i'm logged in already so if the system is asking you to sign up you can sign with your email and phone number that's all you need you don't need to you need to reveal any information here and just get the access because that's what the toronto real estate board is asking so here is what a 6.8 million dollar townhome looks like well there's, there's not a lot of furniture so it's kind of hard to tell <laughs> But it is what it is, and it's in Yorkville. Nice laundry, okay? So you can see here the size, and obviously here it's uh, close to $2,000 a foot, right? It's really a home. It's a home in Yorkville. Okay, moving on, there's one more I wanted to show you, and that's 547A Parliament Street. So um, this project here, and this is a million two three nine. And what you get for this, you get a quite large, almost 2,500 square feet of luxurious living. Walk score of 90. Now, the whole corridor east of Yon between Young and Parliament, between Young and the Dawn, is completely rejuvenated itself. All the way from Queen, or King, if you will. The King's already done. All the way from Queen, all the way up to Bloor. There'll be dozens and dozens of giant tower started with 159 wellesley uh 159 sw and we got some product there if you're looking for it and we'll have a video about that one coming soon um but something like this to me look at this kitchen 
uh, look what's going on here. That's a steal. Okay, and the entire area is upgrading itself really nicely and very quickly. So this is where you are. You're at Parliament just off Wellesley Street. 159 Wellesley is right here in this corner here. So that's real close and the price is really good. And when you look at it, you know, there's the Dawn right here. There's the park and there's Rosedale, the ravine, and then here's the subway. Very, very smart. And uh, just look at this. Okay, that's good. That's really nice. This area is just coming up so quickly. So if you have the vision for Toronto and how Toronto is growing and which directions it's expanding and when the city is expanding, it pushes the price up. So that's what we look for as investors to see what is available. I'm going in the pictures now backwards from the bottom up to the main floor and back to the main. And here we are upstairs and back of the door so there you go okay so very very good great now i'm going to go back to uh, my favorite uh, market watch <clears throat> that's the one that was released in january i guess the january report will be released in february today is uh january 21st monday so we have two more weeks until the next report is being released but what we see is we see less units on the market Prices are stable in the core area, maybe slightly um, drop enough to match with the rate of inflation because we had a very high, quick appreciation um, the last three or four years, maybe too fast. So we're going to kind of wait and catch with it. And if you look at this file here, uh, it shows you what I mean. You can see that 2018, 17, 16 went up real, real fast. So maybe we need to be right here. If you look at this line, I kind of play with it with my mouse. Maybe we need to be right here, okay? But, you know, that's an average. An average means that I take all the numbers and then I divide it, all the values by the amount of properties that be through the system, which do not include new construction and do not include assignments. These are only resales. These are only properties being registered. There's a whole other world there of pre-construction, Okay, units that were sold, units that came on the market, they just registered, and units that were assigned, and those, you do not see them here. So the market's actually larger than what you see here. But for all intents and purposes, that's all we can track for now. So we're going to be maybe here, okay, which is pretty good in my opinion, if you can look at the appreciations here. You know, we have a bit of, a, of an average coming back, and even if the average comes back a bit of 2019, I think it's good because it's, it, it's actually keeping a very accurate trajectory here. And if it's off a little bit too fast, it's just going to correct itself. Or a little bit too low, it's going to come up faster. It's, it's acting properly. And, you know, a lot of this has to do with immigration, global inflation, what's going on south of the border, and large macroeconomic events. Okay, but so far, so good. Canada is doing great. Love Canada. We're doing great. And when we're going to look at the full report is I'm going to drill in here and there is a little word saying townhouse, townhouse here. So there's two things here. First, I'll show you 2018, from January 1st, 2018 to December 31st, 2018, what happened. And remember, 2018 went up real hard and then kind of tapered off. So this average is going to show you that. Um, but it's, it, it's, it's January 1st to December 31st. It's not really showing you what happened in the last three months, which is a bit of a different picture, if you know what I mean. But nonetheless, look here, because we can learn a lot from it. So the first thing we can see is in the 416, we had only 162 sales of townhouses. So that's a rare commodity. 905, many more, 455, total 617. The average price in the 416 was 714. And the average price in 9, 905 was 5, 9, 592, just under 6. So we averaged 624 in the GTA. I don't really care for the average GTA because there's so many different things that don't really belong together. Yeah, it's there, but whatever. Uh, and here, year over year, percent, percent, so year over year, because this is the end of 2018 here, it's still the same information. Um, you can see that the amount of sales dropped quite a bit, but the least amount of sales dropped were the townhomes in Toronto. Why? Because everyone wants a home, wants a new home, no maintenance. That's why uh, these things, 
this one, this one, this one. That's why people want it. Okay, no maintenance. And they're large and they're new. You don't have to fix them like a home. Okay, and we dropped off more than 905. And look at the price. The price came up 10% in the 416. Just, just one and something percent less than what condos came up. And I think that we may see the townhomes actually make the largest gain and the fastest appreciation out of these four categories, detached, semi, townhomes, and condo apartment. <clears throat> they may be the winners of 2019, okay? The average price here um, did okay and total 5.3% top, okay? So if we can find good values for townhouses, I'm all for it. I'm all for it because I think they're going to keep the value. There's a lot of pro there's a lot of demand for it. And very little product, very very little product. Okay, almost none. And the houses are just too expensive. Even if they're going to come down a little bit the price because people are asking crazy prices, and some people are crazy enough to pay the pay crazy prices. But really, what it is is just people asking crazy prices, and some people say, "Sure, we'll do it." So like, don't. <laughs> people got stressed in, and you know it's like. A friend brings a friend, and suddenly there's like, Shh. so come down here and make good investments, okay? Because good investments will always be here. All right, very good. So to summarize, uh, to find it, the townhomes to me are a very, very good uh, possibility for investment, and you'll see I, I talk a about them a lot. And each of these new projects here also, almost all of them have townhomes. And because they have townhomes, you know, give me a call if you're interested in a townhome. Um, it's a different creature, right? It's you get some ground, you should get a patio, maybe you get a, a rooftop patio or a ground patio or both. Um, you may have on on ground level or top level. They come in all shapes and sizes, um, but but they are, and you can see there's more and more of them here, and you can just search go to the townhome link and then search, and you'll get here everything is in a system able to show you. You can do this without me. You can just like log in and search by yourself. Okay, that's the one I showed you earlier. And there's a lot of cool stuff here. Okay. Uh, there's a two million dollar town home. There's a million. This is this is young and blur. Million dollars. Not bad. It's only a thousand bucket foot. Okay, a thousand bucket foot, young and blur. On and on and on. Okay. Here are the town homes from Brantford. I think these will be phenomenal like I said, just have a handful of these, so give us a call regarding these ones. Very, very nice. The location is superb. Just could not be better. Right across from the school, you know, you'll get teachers there, you'll get parents there. There's a lot of single uh, parent families because, you know, almost half of all the families are split, so they need two homes, and there's only five available right now. Because everything's sold out, and everything that is available, available through us. There's nothing else left from the developer. I already put all the information up for you because it's easy, okay? This is the one I showed you in the junction. Very nice, beautiful development. I think totally worth your attention, especially if you're in the market for this kind of product because the location is phenomenal, okay? It's pretty good. Junction is nice. And the giant high parks right here, you don't have to be in the mess of the city. Uh, here's one on Parliament and Wellesley rejuvenating area. I think this area is, is just going to push so hard when you see all the new towers come up in that area in this in this corridor from Young to Parliament, from Queen to Bloor, you'll see everything being pushed up. So if you can grab something in this area, if it's a resale, it's a good opportunity to invest because there's no closing costs like on new construction, which are rising now. If you remember, I told you last video, they're going to rise a lot. So I don't anticipate prices to like crap or come down, but I am looking for deals which are very good value. It's not about the price, it's about the value, the overall what I get from it. That's what I want to see. All right, guys, uh, good enough for today. Really enjoy this video. If you have any questions, comments, put them in there, send me an email, call me, whatever you like, it's all good. Lots more videos on my channel. Please subscribe, everything helps. Thank you very much. See you later. You'll see you.